All right, guys, so now we're going to do the exponential rule. Let's write rule here so I can fit everything. And the derivative of the exponential e to the x is, this is the best derivative of all, e to the x. The derivative does nothing to it, so it just stays like that. That's great. Now we're going to do the derivative of the sines and the cosines, the trigonometric So the trigonometric rules, the derivative of the sine is going to be the cosine of x, and the derivative of the cosine of x is going to be the negative sine of x. All right, so those are our derivatives right there. So let's go ahead and use it, use them, I suppose, with the linearity functions and uh, linearity rules, rather, and let's go ahead and do some examples. What number are we on? Example five, I think. If not, well, I miscounted. So let's go ahead and do example five. And let's say our function, I was six, and now I get it. Too late now. So let's say our function is something just straight up sine of x minus 2 cosine of x. All right, so that one is just using linearity and using these two uh, rules. So the derivative in that case is going to be the derivative of the sine, which we said is the cosine, minus 2 times the derivative of the cosine, which we said is negative sine. So you just Simplify this one. This is just a sign. I, I do expect you to simplify that. It becomes negative, negative, plus. So that's your derivative. You see, and you were scared about trigonometry. They're not, they're not scary. All right, let's do another one. So example, now I'm going to do 6 even though it's 7. And let's do one that we have the derivative or we are trying to compute the derivative of the function f, where f is something like 3 times e to the x minus x squared plus cosine x. Yeah, that's good enough. All right, so, so a function that you will never see in real life, but you know, there it is. So let's try to compute the derivative of that. To practice all of the uh, rules that we had, putting them together, Let's go ahead and compute it. So derivative of e to the x is e to the x, so the first term does not change. 3 times the derivative of e to the x is 3 times e to the x. Now this one is a power rule situation, so we're going to drop the 2, x to the power of 2 minus 1. And the cosine, which the derivative of the cosine is negative sine. So that's what you get there. You simplify. Minus 2x minus sine x. And that's what you get right there. All right. Let's do uh, one example where we actually apply our derivative to compute a tangent line. So let's do one of those. So let me erase here, and we'll do one more example for the derivatives. All right, so this is going to be our last example for this video. So let's do example x, because I had lost count already, so that's going to be that one. So let's say we have a function. Let's draw, let's say we have a parabola that goes from 0 to 3. The function would be y equals x cubed minus, ooh, x cubed, x squared minus 3x. That's what I meant to write. Let me erase that quickly. There. x squared minus 3x. Let's do that one right there. Our intercepts being 0 and 3. Here you have your vertex at 3 halves. And let's say we want to know what is going to be the tangent line. 
So I suppose here 1 would be a perfect point to look at. This point being 1, comma, we evaluate it here, we get 1 squared minus 3, negative 2. So I'm kind of cooking up the example for you guys. And we're going to look at what is the slope of the tangent line to the graph of y equals x squared minus 3x at the point 1, comma, negative 2. So find the equation of the tangent line. to the graph of uh, x squared minus 3x at 1, negative 2. So you have a point, when you want to write an equa uh, the equation of a line, you, if you have a point, you need a slope. And what would be the slope? Well, the slope of the tangent line is going to be the derivative of the function, in this case f of x would be x squared minus 3x, you're going to take the derivative of f and you're going to evaluate it at the x-coordinate, so in this case at 1. So what is the derivative of x squared minus 3x? It's going to be 2x for the first term minus 3 for the second. I'm going to evaluate that at x equals to 1. So I plug it in and I get 2 times 1 minus 3, so the slope is negative 1. Makes sense. In my, in my picture right there, it's a negative slope, so so far so good. If I would have gotten a positive number, that already tells me that either my graph is wrong or my calculation is wrong. So even just a little bit of number sense allows you to know what's happening there. So now the equation, I will only be able to write it in um, point slope uh, form because I don't have enough room, but you can write it in slope intercept form after that. So we grab our slope, negative 1, then x minus the x coordinate of the point, minus 1, and then we do plus the y coordinate of the point, negative 2. Actually, I'm going to be able to write it in slope form if I fit it here. So the equation will be y. When I distribute, I get a negative x then I'm going to have a negative, negative 1 is going to be positive 1, plus negative 2, minus 1. I, I, did so, I did summarize a little bit of my calculation there due to the space constraints, but you can actually for, you can distribute this negative out and add the negative 2 if you pause the video for one second and verify that you get the same result. And then just to confirm that you got the right answer, you could plug the point back. So you grab 1, you get negative 1 minus 1 is negative 2 again. So the same value I get evaluating at the uh, function, I get for the tangent line, and that just represents the fact that this is an intersection point for both the tangent line and the graph um, of the function. So that's all for, for this video. So I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.